numerous notable figures, openly identify as Church of Satan members, including director Kenneth Angra, King Diamond's lead vocalist Kim Bendix Peterson, and musician Marilyn Manson. These are the 13 satanic cities with the most followers. Satanism dates back to ancient human civilization. During the time of Solomon, Satanism began to spread the prophets, who had the ability to communicate with all creatures, received information from the gene that Satanism was gaining momentum. At that time the entities teaching humans were no longer ordinary demons, but jinn ifrits and even demons. Solomon then dispatched his army comprising jinn, animals and humans to gather information, combat and bury all the books related to Satanism. Deep underground, the practice of Satanism during that period was considered extremely perilous. However, starting from ancient Egypt in the Middle Ages, Satanism resurfaced and became increasingly apparent and widespread. In essence, Satanism involves the worship of Satan and the elevation of Satan as a deity, apart from renouncing God and all religious values. This movement encourages actions that are deemed sinful. By traditional religions, Satanism acknowledges Satan, the embodiment of evil as its leader and guide. Followers of Satanism known as Satanists have existed throughout history and across various civilizations from ancient Egypt and Greece to the Middle Ages and up to the present day, between the 14th and 16th centuries. Sorcerers and those who denied religion alike worship Satan post the 1880s in certain European and American regions. Organized Satanism began to gain traction among individuals seeking alternative beliefs and religions. The worship of Satan has persisted since the 19th century, initially in the form of traditional Satanism, and later evolving into smaller cults. The sinister rituals conducted by sorcerers and irreligious individuals, including the sacrifice of children and adults to Satan, the observance of the Black Mass, and other traditional satanic ceremonies, have been clandestinely passed down through generations, until the present day here are seven countries where satanic organizations or groups openly disseminate their beliefs. 13 New York United States Amityville, a small town in Suffolk County, Long Island gained notoriety through J. Anson's 1977 book Attracting Them Welcome attention from the broader community The Dutch Colonial Era House at 112 Ocean Avenue once resembling a crescent moon, no longer stands nonetheless. Tourists and enthusiasts of the macabre often visit the site at specific times. While many dismiss the horror surrounding Amityville's mere fiction, it cannot be overlooked that Ronald Butch DeFeo Jr. murdered six family members on the night of November 13, 1974. During his trial, DeFeo was asserted that he was compelled to commit the murders by shadowy demons and formless voices. This testimony may have influenced subsequent claims made by the Lutz family. Like Defio, other assailants on Long Island were drawn to the house's malevolent energy. Notorious Satanist Ricky Casso, also known as the Acid King, brutally killed his high school acquaintance and fellow drug user Gary Lowers on June 16, 1984, in Northport, Long Island, New York. Casso murdered Lowers in the name of Satan, even demanding that the beaten and blooded Lowers profess his love for Satan. Casso was both a drug addict and the primary narcotic supplier of a satanic ritual group known as the Knights of the Black Circle. His followers would chant Hail Satan to passersby in the city. On Walpurgis night, Casso and his cohorts often conducted rituals in the abandoned Amityville house, dubbed the Horror House, Long Island. New York, Long Island, has a long history intertwined with Satanism in Amityville. While residents of northern Mesopaqua, New York believe in the existence of a devil worship house in their town. The influence of the so-called Church of Satan remains minimal around Mesopaqua Park. Staten Island's folklore in 
includes demonic elements like Cropsy. This has contributed to the proliferation of various legends across rural Long Island, many of which share variations of the Cropsy tale. Despite these chilling accounts, many New Yorkers view Long Island as a sanctuary or respite from the hustle and bustle of the country's largest city. This was the hope of Jeanette Maram and her daughters when they relocated to St. James, a small town on Long Island. In 2006, the family sought to leave behind tragedy as their patriarch Curtis Maron perished in an apartment fire referred to by the New York Fire Department as Black Sunday. Unfortunately, the fresh start the Marins envisioned never materialized, claiming to witness hooded figures on their property. Hearing inexplicable noises and bangs throughout the house, the family stumbled upon an unfinished diary from 1927 in their basement. The diary, penned by a girl named Christina, detailed animal sacrifices and sexual abuse as part of a Long Island-based cult. Four years afterwards, the family encountered paranormal occurrences, some of which involved physical harm. Eventually, the family's ordeal was featured in an episode of a paranormal show, Stiffy's Paranormal, Witness 12, Fort Thomas, Kentucky, United States. On a frigid winter morning in February 1896, a decapitated body was discovered in the fields of John Locke's farm in Fort Thomas, Kentucky, USA. Upon further examination, it was disclosed that the victim was a pregnant woman named Pearl Bryan, who was one of eleven siblings born to Alexander Bryan and Susan Farrow Bryan. Hailing from Greencastle, Indiana, Pearl Bryan quickly captured the attention of the media due to her tragic demise and the enigma of her presence in Kentucky. As the perpetrator was apprehended, the case took a darker turn. Allegedly, Pearl Bryan's murderers, Alonzo Walling and Scott Jackson, were suspected of engaging in a cult or shamanic rituals to sacrifice Bryan as part of a satanic, a ceremony conducted in the slaughterhouse. After prolonged hours, the credibility of these accusations is reinforced by the refusal of Walling and Jackson too to disclose the whereabouts of Brian's head to the authorities. Their silence stemmed from their belief that revealing the information would invoke the wrath of Satan upon them. This unsettling revelation indicates the existence of Satanism in Fort Thomas, Kentucky, United States dating back to the late 1800s. Scott Jackson and Alonzo Walling were both convicted of murder and executed by hanging on March 20, 1897. Their deaths were prolonged, as their necks did not break during the execution, leading to death by asphyxiation. To this day, the heinous crimes and sinister motives of Walling and Jackson linger in Wilder, Kentucky. Allegedly, the spirits of the trio haunt Bobby. Mackey's Music World Nightclub, regarded as one of the most haunted nightclubs, in the United States, numerous videos recounting this chilling tale have surfaced on the internet. 11 Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. During the 1980s, Satanism was ubiquitous. Its members were not only professional wrestler, Kevin Sullivan, who portrayed on Florida television, but other devil worshippers, McKinn popping up in movies, on television and in music videos. The rise of Satanism in the 1980s was largely inspired by the so-called satanic panic that created virtually an entire industry in the Western world dedicated to finding devil worshippers, whether criminals or white-collar professionals, of all the great accusations against Satanism. None is more damning than the assertion that they are responsible for daycare in school. This theory developed in 1980 with the publication of a book called Michelle Remembers, a book based on true stories and experiences written by a young girl and her psychiatrist. In the book Michelle Smith from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, claims that she and other children have been subjected to sexual abuse at the hands of local satanists. Michelle claims that most of the adult population of the city, including her mother, is in the cult of Satanism. The fact that the existence of this sect has occurred during the 1950s is not much. Perceived by the collective nerves of the community that sat was still calm, Michelle remembers. 
became a guidebook on how to deal with abused children and recognize satanists within the community. 36 years later, accusations of satanic ritual abuse persist, often with the fear that pedophiles are a contributing factor. At the heart of Michelle Remember's book is the practice of memory restoration therapy, a highly controversial process designed to uncover the repressed memories that are hurting patients mentally in the present. As questions were raised about the validity of memory, recovery therapy many of the claims of abuse that occurred during the satanic panic could be successfully anticipated later, this helping the hysteria subside in the late one. 9-8-0 South 10 Balsiver, England Balsiver located in Derbyshire, England may appear picturesque at first glance, but it harbours a darker side, as the city is home to the highest number of Satanists. In Great Britain early data suggests, at approximately 17, residents openly identify as Satanist. Around 12 years ago, there were reports of attacks in horse livestock, believed to be perpetrated by Satanist groups. One horse was discovered in a horrific state, drained of 8 litres of blood from its stomach, while others were found mutilated, with their tails and hair intricately braided with barbed wire. Karen Robson, a Bolsiver resident, recalls an incident from 30 years ago, when locals stumbled upon symbols and signs, supposedly left by satanists in the public cemeteries. Restrooms the city boasts a stunning castle, constructed in 1086 by William Preble, who is linked to Satanism in historical accounts, since 2011 due to a surge in Satanist residents, renouncing their former beliefs. Satanic worship has been outlawed in Bolsover, 9 Toledo, Ohio, United States. In Toledo, Ohio, back in 1948, Herbert Sloan, born September 3, 1905, died June 16, 1975, founded a satanic cult known as Our Lady of Ender Coven, or AFI cult as Satanas initially obscure. The sect gained prominence in 1968, following Sloan's interactions with the Church of Satan the Cult exerted a negative influence on the local community, attracting followers to Sloan's group. Apart from worship activities, Sloan conducted rituals to communicate with spirits, dictating specific rituals that all members had to adhere to. Based on these communications, the cult eventually established a dedicated place of worship, continuing its activities until Sloan's passing in 1980. Allegedly remnants of this sect still exist today, with reported growth in its following. Dot, dot, a Pergamon, ancient Greek era, the city of Pergamon or Pergamis or Pergamum, no longer exist. Situated near Bergama in modern-day Turkey, the ruins of the ancient Greek Erisidia, Pergamon holds significance for certain evangelical Christian groups in Revelation to 12, the primary temple of the city now known as the Altura Pergamon, is referred to as Satan's throne. John Apatmas, the author of the Book of Revelation, labelled the entire city of Pergamon as satanic. Archaeologists and historians attribute this perception to the martyrdom of Antipas, the Christian bishop of the city, during the first century, which led early Christians to view the city unfavourably. An alternate interpretation suggests that the Temple of Pergamon once a grand structure dedicated to the Olympian gods, was deemed satanic due to its embodiment of the morals and practices of Hellenic paganism. Given the prevalent Judeo-Christian practice of demonizing pagan deities during the time of the Book of Revelation's writing, it is understandable that the pagan structures of Pergamon were portrayed as satanic shrine. Spy John of Patmos presently, Pergamon remains a subject of interest for conspiracy theorists, linking it to various events such as Hitler, Zeppelin Field in Nuremberg, and the stage of the 2008 Democratic National Convention, where Barack Obama received the party's nomination. Before winning the presidential election, 7 Lalish Iraq. Lalish, located in Iraq, is home to a community of Yazidis, a Kurdish-speaking, ethno-religious group practicing a syncretic faith, syncretism.
involves blending multiple religious or belief systems. The Lush, a small village, nestled in a mountainous valley within the Shekin district of Dong province in northern Iraq, houses the world's primary Yazidi temple. Many archaeologists and historians agree that this temple, initially linked to Sumerian and other ancient Mesopotamian civilizations, later became the resting place of Sheikh Audi, bin Musafir, a key figure in Yazidi faith. Yazidi practices and spirituality incorporate elements from Christianity, Islam and Zoroastrianism, while adhering to monotheism. Followers believed they were uniquely created and descended from Adam, not Eve. Yazidis venerate the singular deity Yaxan, from whom the seven holy spirits emanate. Malak Taus to Osa Malak, also known as the Peacock Angel, serves as the Supreme Spirit, overseeing Yaxan's noble work. This belief system, passed down orally through generations, is seen as a fusion of two inseparable forces, with traditions and secrets preserved over centuries according to Yazidi beliefs. Only their descendants can practice their faith, as outsiders are not permitted. They also maintain ties to the Sumerians who revered numerous gods and demons as potent beings, while some have shifted their focus to worshipping God, rather than Satan Yazidi practices persist to this day. In 2015 ISIS targeted and killed Yazidis in Iraq, labelling them as Satanists. The Yazidis of Lalish have been erroneously branded as one of the seven pillars of Satanism worldwide, despite their worship of God. Not Satan 6, Nogoland, Indian or Galland, a state in the northeast region of India, shares borders with Assam to the west, Arunikul Pradesh and part of Assam to the north, Myanmar to the east and Manipur to the south. Koima serves as the capital, with Dimapur being the largest city, with a population of nearly 2 million and covering an area of 16,579 square kilometres. Nogolan stands as the smallest state in India. The prevalence of satanic groups, known as churches, is notable among the populace. In response, a counter-organization was established in 2013 to address the rising number of satanists. Reports indicate that over 3,000 young individuals from these churches engage in satanic rituals, identifying themselves as the black balls. They utilize platforms like Facebook and Twitter to propagate their beliefs. Some dissenters have revealed being coerced into performing rituals post midnight at various sites, including the Koima War Victims Cemetery, clad in black attire the surgeon. Satanic practices has left parents concerned about their children's safety. If they venture out at night, 5 Tiran Torino, Italy, Tiran situated in northern Italy, has garnered a reputation as the primary hub for satanic, cold activities in Europe. Despite its historical significance, the city adorned with the shroud features a thriving satanic community. The city's atmosphere has grown increasingly tense, prompting church authorities to enlist six bishops, renowned for their expertise in combating the demonic forces that have entrenched themselves within the city. The church leaders aspire to cleanse their beloved city of malevolent influences and guide its inhabitants back towards the path of worshipping God, Fortain in Vietnam. In Vietnam, there exists a sect known as Cao Dai that worships the Antichrist, symbolized by the One Eye or the All-Seeing Eye. This syncretic religion formed in Tainin, Vietnam in 1926 aims to unite humanity by worshipping a singular god, the Antichrist Cao Dai. Followers believe that spiritual figures from both East and West are prophets of the same universal truth. The term Cao Dai translates to high place, or the highest place where God resides. The sect boasts an estimated 6 million followers in Vietnam in various other countries. Adherents believe that their religion teachings, symbolism and structure are directly inspired by God. The sect gained initial recognition among Muslims. Through ABC program exploring 80 world religions, the temple prominently features the all-seeing eye symbol, 
associated with the worship of Dai Yol. The one-eyed figure this symbol, along with the one-eyed triangle, reminiscent of the Illuminati pyramid logo, adorns the temple walls, priestly garments, and some followers' attire. Some researchers speculate that Cao Dai may have ties to Freemasons and the Illuminati due to these symbols, while the sect appears to promote harmony in mutual respect among its followers. It is seen as a modern iteration of ancient pagan Jewish Kabbalah teachings. 3. Detroit, Michigan, United States In another U.S. city, Detroit, Michigan, hundreds of satanics gathered for a significant event to unveil a statue of Satan. Around 700 satanics congregated in an old warehouse near the Detroit River for the ceremony. Members of the satanic temple group expressed their enthusiasm for the event, describing it as a historic satanic gathering to embrace chaos, disruption and indulgence. The one-ton bronze Baphomet statue, a contemporary satanic symbol, features a goat-headed devil with two child statues beside him. Gazing up in admiration, Detroit was selected as the ceremony's location due to its existing strong satanic following. With over 200 members in the city alone, the group's influence is expanding into surrounding regions and smaller towns to San Francisco, United States San Francisco. Officially, known as the city and county of San Francisco, stands as the fourth most populous city in California and the 12th in the United States. Being the sole combined city-county in California, San Francisco covers an area of 46.7 square miles, or 121 square kilometers, at the northern tip of the San Francisco Peninsula, boasting a population density of 17,323 inhabitants, square miles 6,688.4 inhabitants per square kilometer, it is a major city with over 10 million inhabitants and the most populous in California, as well as the second most populous in the United States. San Francisco serves as the financial, cultural and transportation nucleus of the San Francisco Bay Area, home to a populace of 7.4 million. In San Francisco, United States, there exist several active satanic sects engaged in member recruitment led by Anton Shandalevi. The group established the Church of Satan in central Gruto San Francisco, initially numbering between 10,000 to 20,000 followers. The group has now grown to an estimated membership. In the millions, Levy initiated this organization upon recognizing the hypocrisy of individuals who indulge in sin yet feign devotion. Utilizing religion as a mere symbol, devoid of adherence to divine teachings. In the 1950s, Levy formed the Order of the Trapezoids, Triskelenaton, which later evolved into the governing entity of the Church of Satan. In 1969, Levy authored the Satanic Bible, which emerged as a foundational text for Satanists. In its inaugural year, the Church of Satan garnered media attention for conducting a public satanic wedding ceremony between Judy Casey and the radical journalist John Raymond. Levy disseminated his doctrines through films, music and publications. Following Levy's passing in 1997, his wife Blanche Barton assumed leadership of the Church of Satan. Numerous notable figures openly identify as Church of Satan members, including director Kenneth Angra, King Diamond's lead vocalist Kim Bendix Peterson and musician Marilyn Manson, Brian Hugh Warner among others. Regrettably, this phenomenon has implications for Christians, as these believers exploit terms like church and Bible to ensnare pre-existing Christian adherents. Beyond the Church of Satan, situated 75 miles outside San Francisco, lies a satanic enclave known as the Bohemian Club. Convening at Bohemian Grove. Traditionally, Bohemian Grove, attendees engaged in the cremation of care ceremony, purportedly involving child sacrifice, conducted annually, following public reports and testimonies. The rituals were ostensibly normalized, though clandestine human sacrifices 
allegedly persist in undisclosed locations. Established in 1872 by five American journalists, the Bohemian Club conducted rituals, venerating a colossal house statue and performing human sacrifices on its altar. Established in 1872 by five American journalists, the Bohemian Club conducted rituals, venerating a colossal house statue and performing human sacrifices on its altar. Presently participants in the Bohemian Grove, cremation of care ceremony, predominantly hail from the elite, necessitating an initial fee of approximately $3,100, or P40 million, alongside annual dues of 601, Salem, United States, the Satanic Temple, TSD unveiled its global headquarters in Salem, Massachusetts back in 2016, utilizing a 19th century house for its premises. The controversial group will open a section of the property to the public on September 23, 2016 as the Salem Art Gallery. The gallery is set to showcase artists and displays. A spokesperson for the group described Salem as an obvious choice for their headquarters, acknowledging the irony that a city once known for executing individuals over alleged ties to Satan would now house the world's largest satanic organization. The organization adheres to a non-theistic form of Satanism, advocating for reason and science, while rejecting supernatural beliefs, asserting that activism is the purest expression of faith. In a series of attention-grabbing actions, Members of the Detroit branch staged public spectacles, challenging the Catholic faith, including a provocative display on Good Friday, where they parodied the crucifixion of Christ. Notably, in July 2015, the group unveiled a seven-foot bronze statue of the demon, Baphomet in Detroit. It's important to note that this satanic temple is distinct from other self-proclaimed satanic groups, such as the Araman Church which gained attention for a blasphemous open-air ceremony targeting the Blessed Virgin Mary. In August, the leader of the Satanic Temple expressed gratitude for the warm and supportive reception from the people of Salem. The mayor's office reported, receiving only four phone calls, expressing concern or objection, returning to the tale of Solomon. After conducting a cleansing against satanic practices, Solomon successfully gathered numerous books on magical practices forming a substantial mound. Rather than burning the books, they were buried beneath Solomon's temple by the army of Prophet Solomon, known today as the Axe, a mass complex or temple mount in Jerusalem. This explains the fervor of Zionist Israelis to excavate beneath the Al-Aqsa mass complex, despite international prohibitions. Israel continues these excavations, seeking ancestral, magical texts to harness satanic knowledge and influence humanity towards heresy, ultimately aiming for the triumph of Satanism. Hence excavations beneath Solomon's temple persist, despite challenges, driven by the pursuit of ancient secrets. The truth remains elusive until one delves deeper.